a warm good evening to one and all present here. We are here to encourage our little storytellers. Myself, Nitya, and I'm here to host this evening. I welcome you all to our little master storytelling grand finale conducted by our Roxit in association with Masters Millennium. We will start this evening with an invocation song. Please join us. Ganapati, 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 Ganapati. Thank you. First of all, I take immense pleasure in introducing our Voxit team. Mr. Shyam Shekhar, who is the founder and CEO of Voxit. Mrs. Purnima, co-founder. Voxit is the most trending podcasting app, which is made in India with more than 50,000 downloads and 7,500 plus audios in English, Tamil, and Hindi as well. And you know what? Voxit ranks 4.7 Play Store ratings now. The most exciting part of today's evening will be preceded by our renowned storyteller, Mrs. Lakshmi Shankar. We are welcoming you here, ma'am. I call upon Mrs. Purnima to deliver a few words about her. Miss Lakshmi Shankar, a very passionate storyteller from what I can understand about her from the uh, from her website Story Trails. She is the head of operations, has been a part of Story Trails for over thirteen years now, and uh, she is basically a degree holder in commerce and also a diploma in Montessori education from uh, Indian Institute of Montessori Studies in Bangalore, and she has also been a kindergarten teacher in one of her famous uh, school kindergarten school in Chennai. I think apart from that. She's also been a part of, of the copywriting, advertising as a copywriter and a storyteller with British Council. Uh, she has joined uh, Story Trails from the, in the year 2007. Besides this, her passion is training uh, people, CrossFit training, plays, tennis, Bollywood dancing. And uh, she also has often plays acts in front of mirrors is what that I have understood. And... Uh, uh, it's been, I've been speaking to her, I think about a couple of times now. Um, not to exaggerate, she's been really very busy. Uh, but in spite of it, she gave me a word in the first uh, call that she will preside over in one of the one of the events at least. We have three sessions in one of the sessions at least. And she did keep her words in spite of her very, very highly packed schedule. Thank you so much for uh, coming up. It's a pleasure to have you with us. Thank you so much, Purnima. So sweet of you. Thank, Thank you. you, Purnima, ma'am. It was very nice to know about you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you for coming. Now I request you to give some few words to our kids and parents. Sure. Um, so first of all, uh, is the volume okay for everybody? Yeah, Sham, is it okay? Yes. Purnima? Yeah, all right. Great. So... Um, Hello, everybody, and it's it's so wonderful to be here. When um, Udnima uh, reached out to me, uh, it was very nice to learn about Voxit and about your team. And when Vijay also told me about it, so thank you so much, Sham, Udnima, Itya, all the Voxit team for this opportunity. I'm very happy to be here to hear of this new venture. I have to, uh, you know, uh, definitely go and. Uh, download my Voxit app now. <laughs> it's very nice to hear of your venture. Congratulations. Brilliant statistics read out by Nitya. Excellent. Uh, to all the children who are here, uh, 
it's so nice to meet all of you. Uh, if you actually, um, I can't see all the children, Purnima. So uh, is, is there any way you can make me small so I can see all the children again? I, I think, think yes. Take yes, me off can. the spotlight. I'll yeah, just see yeah, the children. Can do that. When I tell the story, then maybe you can put me in spot. Yeah, yeah. Just give us a few minutes. Yeah, no worries. Mm. I just thought I'd talk to them. So everybody, uh, I'm so happy to be here. I can see Avyuk. I can see uh, Mohammed. Uh, so nice to see all of you. Adya, Shivani, and uh, yes. I see a, a couple of uh, uh, all the parents too, Abhirami and Krishav. It's so good to see all of you. Uh, congratulations to each one of you for doing so well uh, for all the winners and also everybody who told the story. Who well, seem to be having a young storyteller too. <laughs> I know, <laughs> singing a lullaby. <laughs> so. It's wonderful to hear uh, from Purnima when I when she told me about it. I was so curious. I said, "Did little children actually tell stories?" And uh, then she was telling me about it, the competition. So congratulations to each one of you. You told stories, which is great, and you did so well. And uh, to everybody who participated, it's wonderful that you all told stories. I'm so proud of you. So. Um, I thought uh, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and then later, Sham, I was asking Purima too, shall I tell them a story? Sure. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> yes. All right. Good okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Great. So uh, to all the parents um, and the children, uh, as uh, Purima very kindly uh, shared the introduction, uh, I work at a company called Story Trails, and, um, and I've been there for about 14 years. Story Trails designs walking tours and also online workshops for children. Uh, not this age group, but slightly older. We work with children who are 7 to 13. And we use stories as a communication tool. So um, it's, it's been my great fortune uh, to be associated with Story Trails and to work there. I also did the Montessori teacher training course which I think changed my perspective towards little children, especially, and uh, made me see them in a whole new light. So it is uh, those um, little perspectives that I would like to share with you. But uh, first, uh, shall I tell you a story, everybody? Huh? Shall we pretend that everybody here is uh, three years old? Like I think, ah, there is a <laughs> giving a thumbs up. Uh, yes. And shall I tell you a story? So let's pretend everybody is three and let me tell you a story. A long time ago uh, in England, a group of people were walking through a forest. And when they were walking through the forest, they felt hungry. In the distance, they saw there was a village. Oh, can we go there and ask for some food? Well, they all marched up there knocked at the door and said, can you give us some food? We are hungry. But inside, somebody was sleeping. There is no food here. Go away. Then there was one little girl in the group, just like you. She said, shall we make some stone soup? So boys and girls, shall we make some stone soup today? Yeah. yeah. So the little girl went and got a big pot and she poured water into it. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. Glug, 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 glug. And then she lit a fire. And nicely the water was boiling. Now she needed some of the stones to fall inside the water. So boys and girls, I think there might be some stone. Let's imagine, pick it up. Avyuk, pick it up with your hand. Like that, yes, yes, Mohammed, pick it up with your hand. Yes, Adya, and throw it in the pot. Throw it in the pot at me. Yes, ah, yeah, yes. Plink, plonk, plink, plonk. And the little girl picked up a spoon and she sang a song. Stone soup, stone soup. Yummy, yummy stone soup. And the smell of the soup went this way and that way. And there was a young boy there. He told the girl, 
can I have some soup? She said, sure, but it's not ready. Can you get some carrots? Carrots on the way, carrots on the way, carrots on the way. And then throw in the carrots, throw in the carrots, plink, plong, plink, plong. And shall we sing the song with her? Yes, go ahead, hold your spoons, hold your spoons, and let's sing out together. Stone soup, stone soup, yummy, yummy stone soup. Now the smell of the soup went this way and that way. There was a big policeman standing there. He had a big moustache and he told the little girl, hey there little girl, I want some soup. And the little girl said, it's ready, but it needs something else. Can you give me some onions? Ah, onions on the way, onions on the way, onions on the way. Boys and girls, shall we chop off the onions? So keep the onion like this. Yes, correct. Keep the knife like this. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. Chop, 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 chop. And wipe the tear. Children, you're cutting onions, no? So you'll have a tear, right? Wipe the tear. Very nice of you. Very nice moment. Wipe the tear. Chop, 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 chop. Wipe the tear. And now throw in the onions. Plink, plonk, plink, plonk. Stone soup, stone soup, yummy, yummy stone soup. And the smell of the soup went this way and that way. There was a vegetable lady there. She said, ah, the soup smells so nice. Can you give me some soup? Ah, it's not yet ready. We need some tomatoes. Tomatoes on the way, tomatoes on the way. And then what did she do? She took the tomatoes and pitchuck and pitchak. Children, look at the juice everywhere. Look at it flying. Can you see the red juice here and there? And Good so evening, ma'am. <laughs> Good evening, my darling. Good evening to you. Stone soup, stone soup. Yummy, yummy stone soup. And the little girl thought, let's taste and see. So everybody take your spoon. Yes, Amar Ahmed, you've just joined in. Pick up your spoon. Let's taste the stone soup. Come on, come on. Hmm. She tasted. Something is missing. The salt is there, ah, but the pepper is not there. So she decided to add some pepper. Let's put some pepper in. And then she said, stone soup, stone soup. Yummy, yummy stone soup. And the people of the village liked the soup so much that they all threw the spoon away. Everybody throw the spoon away. Throw the spoon away. Lift up the pot. Lift up the pot. And glug, 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 glug. <laughs> Just drink up the soup. Throw the pot away. Mm. Yes, mm. I would. Very nice. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was, a, that was a beautiful story. In fact, uh, uh, this one goes not only for the soup, but the way you said the story. This is really awesome. Thank you so much. You turned Thank all you. of us uh, as kids. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so much. So nice to see Our that. kids would have got a new experience through this, ma'am. Their storytelling capacity, you know, it will be upgraded into a new level. This Thank is you so much. So inspiring for them. <laughs> thank thank you, you very so much, much ma'am. Thank you. No worries. Um, it's my pleasure. Welcome. Thank you so much, ma'am. And uh, our parents and kids, if you have any doubts, please, you can ask her. If you would like to have a few words with her, if you'd like to ask her anything, anything specific to your child or about storytelling, you can, we can check with uh, Ms. Lakshmi. She is with us. Look at the That's way true. Devashini is dancing there, showing super, super. <laughs> yeah, I think she's absolutely. yet to come out of the soup. She's still tasting it. Yeah. The stone soup is a, uh, uh, to parents, it's a very famous nursery rhyme. It's from England. And uh, we, work, uh, we work with little children uh, quite a bit when we started off the company. And uh, we worked a lot doing trails for them. 
Then after that, we moved on to older children and to adults, of course. So little children is always a very exciting group, but it's, it's a group that needs a specific script, a specific training. So we do those trails still for little children, but only on request. If somebody knows of us who's done it in the past, otherwise uh, it's after a long time that I'm meeting a young audience here, thanks to Purnima and Sham and uh, sharing these stories here with them. Um, Punima also told me to share some tips with you uh, for a storyteller. Uh, may I share the tips, yes, uh, Punima? Yes, then maybe yes. the children can also ask doubts if they have. Yes. So to parents and children, uh, it's wonderful that you want to tell a story. So a most important tip number one is uh, just be yourself while you're telling a story. So you don't have to pretend uh, to be like someone else. If you have a, a, a funny way of telling a story, say it like that. If you have a shy way of telling a story, say it like that. If you have a smiling way of telling a story, say it like that. If you have a serious way of telling a story, say it like that. So say it like how you are as a person uh, uh, and then it will come out very well. It's a golden rule in storytelling. So be yourself when you're telling a story. That's one. Two, I'm sure your parents are taking care of this, but practice well. It's good to practice, but uh, you're all so young, so I don't know how to tell you that. But I think the little I've learned from little children is that um, they're wonderful in their absorption uh, to parents of this age group. If, um, if you're familiar a little bit with Maria Montessori, uh, she talks of a special sensitive period for children aged between two and six, and that is called the absorbent mind. The, uh, the very reason that makes your child wonderful to stand up in an online, in a, in a platform like this, and to actually narrate a story is uh, because of a child's special uh, mind. It's called an absorbent mind, where the child can take in as many impressions and just be themselves. So I think you will take care of that practice. Uh, children, when you're telling a story, it's good to have eye contact. Uh, so if you know what is eye contact, eye contact is how you look at somebody and tell a story. Like sometimes when we tell a story, we feel very shy, no. So we stand like this, we look down a little bit. It's okay if you're feeling shy a little bit in the beginning. But after that, you can, you can start looking at uh, other children and uncle and auntie because eye contact is very important while telling a story. Okay, you can, you can try that. And last tip is uh, you must want to tell the story. So uh, parents, if you are selecting a story for a child, great. Check with the child, does he want to tell that story? You will, and how does he indicate that he or she? Well, if they practice, if you expose them to three, four stories, they may tell you something. Ah, this is, you know, tell me again, tell me again. So when they say, tell me again, tell me again, it's not like they're being boring. Uh, little children have a love for repetition. That is what Montessori found out. And not just Montessori, other schools of thought also. So they like to do the same thing again and again. If you played hide and seek with them, they will hide in the same place. And then they'll be thrilled when you find them in the same place. If you change the place, they don't like it. And that's because little children have a love for order. So if ask them for their opinion, and if they say, this story is nice or something, and they narrate it to you, that's the story. Latch on to it if you have a platform like this where you have to uh, have them share it in a competition. They'll do it so effortlessly. So um, these are only the very small tips I can share, but hats off to you that each and every one of you, you're saying stories when you're so young. Uh, I have so much to learn from you. And the next time you have the competition, I will be telling Purnima, I'll also be a fly on the wall and <laughs> listen to you and learn from you. It's so amazing. And um, that's about it, Purnima. Thank you. Thank you so much. It was very nice. Four small tips. Uh, very important. I think not only for children, this applies even for elders like us, and not just in storytelling. Uh, these are some tips that we have to follow on our day-to-day -day activities too. Thank you so much for that. 
Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Not only kids will be benefited with this as a young parent, all the parents will be benefited on this because we all experience that repeated mode. Ah, <laughs> yes. So if you, you are very you, true, ma'am. Yeah. <laughs> yes. So if you understand um, the child, for example, when I did the Montessori course, all my professor used to tell me was go to the park and sit there and observe little children. That was our assignment for a week. So initially we were like, what are we doing sitting and looking at little children? And then you see how little children choose something. You see how they play. If you've seen your child look at an ant. So if you actually don't interfere in the process, it will be very nice. They'll sit and just stare at it for some time. Mm. And that shows how their mind is working. So uh, expose them to various uh, sensorial impressions. You know, even if something is spicy, you know, just give a little bit in the tongue. So the brain, uh, the senses are connected with the brain. So immediately that's when the brain will record spice. And that's how the little child learns. So uh, observe your child, I would say, uh, rather than, uh, uh, you know, what Montessori would, uh, would often uh, write in her stories was, follow the child, the little child, and observe the little child and uh, just be a guide in the process. So you'll find that it's, it's fascinating if you do that. Very true, thank you, ma'am. Now we are moving on to the most awaited part of the evening. And Voxit has conducted this Little Master Storytelling competition three months ago. And we received a fabulous amount of response from the kids. There were many children who participated with their beautiful stories Kids came up with their extraordinary talents and we have shortlisted them based on their skills, ability to deliver the stories and they were selected to the finals and the finalists were put onto the public poll and from there they were selected as a winners and followed which there were two runner-ups and there are seven special awards for our kids also sponsored by Masters Millennium All-in-One School Box. And now I'll call upon those special awards now. Raksha, Yashmin Arora, Shivani, Abhiram Mohan, Amar Ahmad, Abhiri Banerjee, and Krisha. Kids, you are- We have big hand. Can you, can you repeat the name again, uh, Nitya? Sure, sure. sure. Raksha. Yashmin Arora, Shivani, Abhiram Mohan, Amar Ahmad, Habiri Banerjee, and Krishav. Here are the uh, special awardees. Uh, special awards sponsored by Voxit along with uh, uh, Masters Millennium All in One School Box. Very nice. Can we go into the next level? Next part, yes, ma'am. Now I request Lakshmi, ma'am, to call <laughs> upon the names of the second runner-up for the category 3.5 to 4.5 year olds. Purnima, this is as per your message, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm okay. just messaging you again. I just messaged you again. Yes, yes. Please uh, announce the second runner-up, ma'am. Okay, I'm very pleased to announce the second runner-up of the competition is Avyukt. Woohoo, Avyukt. Wow, that wow. was a well superb done. story from Avyukt. <laughs> well done, Avyukt. So proud of you. Well done, my darling. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> so proud of you. Excellent. Ma'am, please announce first runner up. Okay, okay. Ah, oh, there is a mute in the spotlight. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm very happy and very pleased to announce the first runner up is Adya Varma. Thank you, Adya, for giving us Adya Varma. Can you have me? Thanks, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome. Welcome. Can we have Hi. Adya Verma on spotlight for a few minutes, please? I think we didn't see her. We didn't get to see her. Yeah, yeah we didn't. Adya has come down. Yes. Oh, 
Hi, Adya. Adya, look at you. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. You just woke the love you, and you've been seated here. <laughs> Thank you. You, so, you told the story so well, Purnima auntie told me. So congratulations to you. May you tell more and more stories. We are so proud of you. Okay. That's nice. Adya needs milk. <laughs> So nice of you. Uh, can we put Kishav on spotlight? I think he wants to say hi to all of us. Yes. Hi, Kishav. Hi, Kishav. Hi. Hi, Kishav. Hi, Kishav. Very nice to see you. We were hearing your voice here and there. Look at that smile. So nice to see you, Kishav. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, yes. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Thank you, ma'am. Congratulations on special award. Excellent. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, we'll move on to the winner now. I think the winner should be Anna, really excited. Yes, yes, and the winner of the Little Master Storytelling Grand Finale for the category 3.5 to 4.0 year olds. Let us start the countdown from 5, 5, 4, Four 3, three two, 2, 1. one. Ma'am, kindly announce the winner, please. Okay. Uh, and the winner of the competition is Mohammed Hamdan Khan. Uh, story from uh, Mohammed Hamdan Khan. How Very wonderful. Good. Awesome. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> Can we have Mohammed on spotlight? <laughs> so yeah. Bye. Oh. Thank you, ma'am. Well done, my darling. Well done. Excellent. We have Mohammed's sister also there. Congratulations to you too. Hi. We are so happy, man. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, a, it's a very happy occasion. Yes. Congratulations to both of you. Congratulations, Hamdan. Well done. I'm so proud of you. Well done. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Welcome, darling. Thank you, kids. Thank you so much, ma'am. Such a smiley, ma'am. Kids would have been really enjoyed this. Next, I congratulate all the participants who took part in the contest. All the participants will be given a certificate from our team. And thanks for the parents also who took so much efforts to showcase the little birding storytellers. And thank you, Lakshmi ma'am, for making this evening a very, very memorable one. This will be an yeah. everlasting memory for our kids also. <laughs> They'll have thank all you your so. tips in their mind and parents also will take it. It will be really beneficial for them. Sure. Thank you once again, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you. It was my pleasure, Nitya. Thank you for your warm words. It's so nice to be here. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, Purnima, ma'am, a few words? Yeah, so um, I think it's kind of out of thanks. Um, training children is not at all easy. I have two kids, two grown-up kids. Uh, from day one till today, I have difficulty in training them. So <laughs> I really, really, really admire all the parents. Even though I get to see only one or two parents, I'm sure the other parents are standing beside it is a really great job for you to train the children to talk with that flair, that emotion, that feel. It's really very great. So thank you so much for taking that effort uh, and bringing up the kids' talents outside. And uh, thank you so much for uh, the others also who have not actually won the uh, competition, but it, the effort itself is a victory. So uh, again, thanks to everyone for joining us in this evening. And I would like to call upon uh, Mr. Shakti Sachdev to give a few words on out of thanks. Hi, good evening all. Good uh, evening, sir. First of all, I'll start with uh, thank you, Lakshmi Man, for uh, coming in today, for joining in today and announcing the winners. Uh, uh, thank you so much to all the parents uh, who are guiding their children towards their passion and uh, Last but not the least, uh, 
uh, it was a pleasure having everybody who participated in this contest and we are planning to bring up more more and more competitions like this so that uh, we can actually get the most out of all the kids uh, these days so thank you everyone for joining in today i hope you had a blast in this competition uh, waiting to uh, see more of this uh, in the coming months thank you so much everybody thank you thank, thank you sir and we are ending our evening so i request all of you to raise up on your places for a national anthem please ma'am janagana mana adhinayak jay he bharat bhagya vidhata punjab sindh gujarat maratha dravida utkala vanga हिमाचल यमुना गंगा उच्चल जलधि तरंगा तव शुभ नामे जागे तव शुभ आशीष मागे गाहे तव जय गाथा जन गण मंगल दायक जय हे भारत भाग्य विधाता जय हे जय हे जय हे जय 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 हे एनी वन वॉन्ट्स टू इनफॉर्मली इंट्रैक्ट यस मे बी अ मिनट और टू वी कैन बिफोर वी सो पूर्णिमा since everybody is just uh, hanging out here yeah. i'll end with a little song so sure. maybe it can yeah is that okay by you sure. sham perfect yeah? perfect i'll end perfect. with a song yes okay. sure it will so be a this, pleasure this is for all the little children here and let's imagine we are all 3 years old shall we sing a song yes and yeah and as i sing you just have to say this after me but we know that frogs go la dilla dilla la dilla dilla la dilla dilla we no frogs go la dilla dilla la dilla dilla la dilla dilla they don't go mm, mm, mm. they don't go mm, mm, mm. which is your favorite animal yes raise your hand i'll talk to you which is your favorite animal yes abhyut which is your favorite animal my favorite animal is lion lion amar ahmed which is your favorite animal amar tiger. which is your tiger apiri which is your favorite animal dear you I like the bird you love birds that's good thank you apiri vivashini which is your favorite favorite animal dog i love Oh ma'am. Ah, okay, thank you. Krishna, you have a big smile. Which is your favorite? My favorite animal. Animal dog. 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 Mohammed Hamdan Khan, which is your favorite animal? Favorite animal is lion. Lion. It's a lion. <laughs> It's a lion's road. And your sister? What about you? Ma'am, I love rabbit. You uh, love rabbits, Yashmin. Welcome to the party. Yes, Yashmin. Which is your favorite animal, Yashmin? Giraffe. Giraffe. Very cool, no? And Nitya's little one. Which uh, is your favorite, favorite animal? Um, giraffe. Yeah. Uh, zebra. Tell her. Oh wow! Giraffe and cute. zebra. Very nice. Giraffe and zebra. You know, I like the frog. And how does the frog keep his face? Everybody will try out. Frog keep its face. Mm, goes the little green frog one day. Mm, goes the little green frog. Mm, goes the little green frog one day. The frog goes. Mm, mm, mm. But we know that frogs go. Clap with me. La di la di la. La di la di la. La di la di la. We know frogs go. La di la di la, la di la di la, la di la di la.
They don't go. Mm, mm, mm. They don't go. Mm, mm, mm. What about dogs? Somebody here said they like dogs. No, how does the dog go? Woof, woof, yeah, right, children. Yeah? yeah, yes, Krisha. How is, does the dog go, Krisha? Wow, wow, wow. Bow, bow. Krishab has a difference of opinion. It's bow, bow, and we go with that. How does the dog go? Yes, no. How does it sound? How does it bark? Woof, woof, no? Wow, Krishab, wow. Krishab, shall we go with woof, woof? It's, it's nicer in the song. So everybody keep your hands like this. Wow, and wow, we start wow. with woof, woof. And Krishab will say mm -hmm. bow, bow, which is perfectly fine. Woof, woof, goes the little wow, white wow, dog wow. one day. Woof, woof. Goes the little white dog. Wow. Woof, woof goes the little white dog. One day the dog goes woof, woof, woof. And children, now, Yashmin, you can all sing the chorus with me. Abiri, come on. But we know that is still there. Yeah. The dogs go. Oh, How do you clap? We know dogs. 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 We know Divashini, I don't see you. Avyukt, well done. Amar, Amar Ahmed, Goldfish, Krishav is doing one. Mohammed Hamdan Khan, Goldfish, it's a fish. Glug goes the little, yes. Glug, glug goes the little goldfish one day. Glug, glug goes the little goldfish. Glug, glug goes the little goldfish one day. The fish goes glug, glug, glug. And we know that fish go everybody. La di la di la. La di la di la. La di la di la. We know fish go. La di la di la. La di la di la. La di la di la. They don't go glug, glug, glug. They don't go mm, mm, mm. Well done, everybody. This is a, a, it's a famous uh, English nursery rhyme, Little Green Frog. If you Google it, you'll find many teachers, many people representing it, like the way they say it. This is the way we do it at Story Trails. So I thought we will share it with you. Very nice. Very interesting. Um, I'm sure the children would have engaged it. A lot of them interacted. They showed, even though they didn't know how to sing together, they were showing it through their movements. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah Yashmi. Yes. <laughs> it's lovely. <laughs> Wonderful, my darling. <laughs> she filled the gap. <laughs> <laughs> so so nice so we come to the end of today's program thank you so much to all of you for coming in and congratulations to all participants again and uh, helping walks it also to run the show very nicely thank you thank you so much thank you for this opportunity it was wonderful meeting all of you and uh, bye abiri thank you ma'am thank bye, you ma'am bye bye yashmi bye bye bye, bye. 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 Hello, Thank you, ma'am. Bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. 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 Thank you, ma'am. Bye. 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 Thank you, all. Congratulations. Thank you, ma'am. Bye. 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 Bye, ma'am. Bye. Bye, ma'am. 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 Bye, ma'am.